and this is uh, Christine George. She's been mentioned a number of times uh, in today. And uh, Christine, nice to see you. <laughs> COVID has kept us apart. Uh, so, Sorry to see you. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Can you share with us the journey from evidence to action for the hospital-based hygiene and water treatment and inter in intervention known as CHOBI-17 that will, has been very interesting and exciting for everyone? Yes, I'd be happy to share our work. And thank you for the introduction. So I'm Christy Marie George, and I'm an associate professor at Johns Hopkins. And it's my pleasure to present on today the evidence-based approaches we took to develop, evaluate, and implement the cholera hospital-based intervention for seven days. And so this study is a collaboration between my research group at Johns Hopkins as well as the Bangladesh Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, um, including Dr. Rahman, that just presented, as well as the International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research, Bangladesh, where Dr. Kadri is based. And the rationale behind our work is that when a cholera patient presents at a health facility, their household members are at 100 times higher risk of developing a cholera infection compared to the general population. And this risk is highest during the seven day period after the cholera patient is admitted. However, despite this evidence, there's very limited interventions for this high risk population. And so this led us to the development of the cholera hospital based intervention for seven days. And as Dr. Rahman said, uh, the CHOBI, the acronym is CHOBI 7, and CHOBI means pitcher in Bangla for the pictorial module that's delivered as part of this program. Um, and so the CHOBI-7 WASH module is delivered initially in the health facility bedside to the cholera patients and their accompanying household members and focuses on promoting hand washing with soap, water treatment, and safe water storage. These behavioral recommendations provided in the health facility setting in our initial iteration of the CHOBI-7 program were then reinforced through home visits. We previously conducted a randomized control trial of this intervention from 2013 to 2014. And we found that delivery of the SHOBI-7 program led to a significant reduction in cholera among the household members of cholera patients, and also led to sustained improvements in household stored drinking water quality, as well as hand washing with soap 12 months post-intervention. And so these findings were shared with the Bangladesh Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, and they expressed an interest in scaling this program across Bangladesh. However, they stated that we needed to find approaches for intervention delivery that did not involve home visits, since home visits was not an approach that they could take to scale across the entire country. And so this led to a USAID grant that we received in 2016 to look at scalable approaches for implementing the CHOBI-7 intervention. Next slide, please. And so our current work delivers the CHOBI-7 intervention in a health facility setting, um, as we did in our previous iteration, but also includes a mobile health component. And so mobile health is a promising approach to deliver public health information in Bangladesh, given that over 160 million phone numbers are registered with the government. And the government of Bangladesh also uses mobile health to deliver public health information. And so the CHOBI-7 mobile health program is an approach that can be integrated into existing programming that the government is already delivering. And so for this iteration of the CHOBI-7 program, it's delivered bedside to patients and their household members. We provide a diarrhea prevention package, um, and then we send weekly voice and text messages to households promoting hand washing with soap, water treatment, and safe water storage. And these mobile messages are sent for 12 months and are sent by a physician from a diarrhea hospital. And to give you a sense of the cost, to send these weekly mobile messages to one phone in a household costs two US dollars. So it's a very low cost approach for implementation. And so we recently conducted a randomized control trial of 2,600 participants of the SHOBI-7 mobile health program and showed that it was highly effective in significantly reducing diarrhea, as well as leading to sustained improvements in hand washing with soap and stored drinking water quality, even when no home visits were delivered. And we only had one health facility visit to deliver our WASH pictorial module. And so these findings were again shared with our partners, the Bangladesh Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, and led to a second USAID grant that we received 
to scale this approach across Bangladesh in partnership with the government. And so this is our current work. In addition, if you can go to the next slide, please. Uh, we were working on expanding the scope of the Shobi 7 program, which currently focuses on cholera patient households to those living in hot spots around cholera patient households. And so this study is an R01 grant that is funded by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, um, a grant that I received last year. Um, and we will be conducting a large randomized control trial of over 3,000 participants of the impact of rapid response teams on reducing cholera within cholera hotspots in Bangladesh. In addition, if you can go to the next slide, uh, we've leveraged the findings from the Chobi 7 program in Bangladesh to also test, uh, evaluate, and test this approach in a new setting, which is the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Um, and so I set up a, a study site in DRC um, in 2016, and we recently received a grant from Welcome to develop and evaluate um, evidence-based approaches for delivering a wash intervention to reduce cholera. So if you can go to the next slide, please. And so again, this is in partnership with the government of Bangladesh, as well as Catholic, sorry, the government of DRC, as well as Catholic University of Bukavu, and it's funded by Welcome. And so we're in the second year of this grant, and it includes formative research uh, for developing this evidence-based wash intervention, which is delivered in a health facility setting and also includes the randomized control trial of a thousand participants to see if this intervention is effective in reducing cholera in our study setting in Bukavu in Eastern DRC. Thank you.